story. Afne Iguana and good evening. Thanks so much for tuning in. A member of the Guam Election Commission's Board of Directors, who is also a legislative staffer, is behind bars tonight on $200,000 cash bail after he was found in possession of a substantial amount of marijuana. The arrest stems from a federal search warrant that was obtained earlier this week for a package addressed to a Tamuning home. Here's more from Mindy Egan. A Postal Express package deemed suspicious by postal inspectors earlier this week was found to contain more than 520 grams of marijuana. According to court documents, three heat-sealed plastic bags were found inside the package inside a plastic container which was wrapped in gift wrap. Customs spokesperson Lieutenant Ferdinand Soriano says the current street value of a gram of marijuana is roughly $25 to $30, making the discovery worth more than an estimated $14,000. Court documents further state that the package was addressed to Zaani Branch, the brother of Democratic Party of Guam Executive Director Carlo Branch. Zaani reportedly told authorities he has not lived at the home since May of 2012. Carlo Branch told KUAM he returned to his Tumuning home on Thomas Street on Thursday after lunch to pick up his passport when he found customs officers at his home. Branch says he gave the officers consent to search, but they had to obtain a warrant because he was not the owner of the home. While customs officials are not releasing any details of the ongoing investigation, Branch's roommate and Guam Election Commission board member and legislative staffer Christopher Carrillo was arrested and charged with importation of a Schedule One controlled substance as a first-degree felony, possession with the intent to deliver a Schedule One controlled substance as a felony, and possession of more than one ounce of a scheduled controlled substance as a misdemeanor. According to the magistrate's complaint, postal inspectors delivered the package to Branch's home on Thursday morning and conducted surveillance and watched as Carrillo took the package inside the house, then exited the residence and drove in a loop throughout the neighborhood and then back to the house where he then opened the package. Agents approached the home. The declaration filed by Assistant Attorney General James Collins states that Carrillo told the agents, quote, I know why you guys are here because of the marijuana, end quote. While well, he allegedly denied knowledge of the contents of the package when asked why he opened it, Carrillo responded, quote, We always do that. During the execution of the search warrant, agents found a glass pipe, a metal grinder, packaging materials, scales, and a small amount of marijuana inside the home. They also found a substantial amount of marijuana in a clear, square plastic container and empty plastic bags containing suspected marijuana residue within and under the center console of a vehicle that belongs to Carrillo's girlfriend. Carrillo also allegedly admitted to texting a friend to come over and smoke with him on Thursday. Court documents indicated that Carrillo identified that person as Fernando Santos. Santos was interviewed and said he previously purchased marijuana from Carrillo, who also allegedly admitted to smoking with a lot of other guys from Gigo and smoking as much as he can up to half an ounce a week. Zaani Branch denied knowing of packages being sent to him at the house or that packages were being opened by others on his behalf. Carrillo and Carlo Branch are both employed at Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz's office. Carlo Branch is the Vice Speaker's chief policy analyst. He did not answer calls today for comment about the incident at his home. Meanwhile, staff at the Vice Speaker's office say Carrillo, who is a research analyst, was on sick leave Thursday. Cruz is currently off-island on personal leave, but told KUAM, The recent events involving my former staffer, Chris Carrillo, has dismayed and disappointed me. I will be issuing a more detailed response on Tuesday after I have been fully briefed, end quote. When asked to clarify what he meant by former staffer, the vice speaker replied that Carrillo has been terminated. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Indy Egan. The magistrate's complaint also indicated that Carrillo told customs agents that he had purchased half an ounce of marijuana for $450 on Wednesday. Customs canine dogs also alerted to an empty parcel in a burn pile. Court documents state the parcel was similar to the one intercepted by customs agents and that it was also addressed to Zaani Branch. The Attorney General's Office, meanwhile, notes that the amount seized during yesterday's bust is indicative of distribution which AG spokesperson Carlina Charfer says automatically results in a higher bail amount because distribution is considered to be a threat to society. Keeping with this story, the Guam Election Commission is not commenting on an old ballot box that was located at Carlo Branches to Mooning Home during Thursday's drug bust. GEC Executive Director Maria Pangolinan could only say that old ballot boxes are not required to be in the possession of the commission if they are deemed to be surplus. 
Hey, Lynn also did add that old ballot boxes that were used to elections prior to 2004 are now being utilized for groups like the University of Guam, GCC, the Guam Youth Congress, and the island's political parties. The AG's office, meanwhile, is also not commenting on whether they are investigating the discovery of a ballot box at Carlo Branch's home. Christopher Carrillo is a Democratic Party representative on the Guam Election Commission Board. According to the law, commission members are only removed by two-thirds vote of the legislature or the political party they represent.